Hey, what's going on, guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Friday was a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 N64 special. I got 301,934 points, so I convert that to dollars, so $301,934, and that brought my overall total to $7,139,360. So guys, this is the start of a new week, and yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. All right. So yeah, we only played Who Wants to Be a Millionaire three times last week out of five days. Um, what four transports the Mitsubishi Colt? It's a car, right? It has to be a car. Okay. All right. Got a hundred bucks. Next up is the two hundred dollar question. Dutch is the official language of Holland. Perfect. Okay, <clears throat> going for 300 now. The Union Jack occupies which quadrant of the Australian flag? That would be the top left. Yes, okay. Perfect, three for three. We're going for $500 now. <clears throat> Tourist symbol, uh, the notorious symbol of the Cold War was the Berlin. Shoot, is it Berlin Wall or Berlin T Berlin Tower? Berlin Wall. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, is the Berlin Tower even a thing? I don't know why. I feel like I've heard that before. Okay, we got five hundred. We're going for one thousand. Here we go. Who won the first one with the miss? Um, Roger Federer. Roger Federer. And there we go, guys. Awesome. First five questions out of the way. Uh, yeah. Thursday, one thirty two thousand. but several days before that, I was not doing well at all. So it'd be nice if I can get past $32,000 level again. Okay. For $2,000, slice bread dipped in egg beaten with milk and served dusted with sugar is traditionally, uh, or traditionally, is what national toast? Sorry, I read, I read that word wrong. That would be French toast because the other three, the, the other three aren't things. Well, I mean, English muffins are it's a thing. I I don't think. I mean, there's a brand of bread called Italiano, and there's one called Villaggiano, and those are Italian. I don't think Spanish bread's a thing. Like I said, English muffins a thing, but I don't think English toast is a thing. Anyways, I'm, I'm not making much sense. We're going for four thousand now. Still got all three lifelines. So that's good. Okay, let's start the week off strong. <clears throat> Here we go. For $4,000, curling is played on ice. Clay. I mean, that'd be kind of... <clears throat> that'd be kind of hard, especially if the that the clay is wet. Anyways, $4,000, you guys. This is actually good. We're going for 8000 now. Still got the three lifelines. Alrighty. According, I I'm I'm I read that wrong too. Aiding the economic recovery of Europe after World War II was the U.S. sponsored Marshall Marshall Project, Marshall Program, Marshall Scheme, Marshall Plan. <whistles> hmm. Marshall Project, Marshall Program. The U.S. Marshal, U.S. sponsored Marshal. I think it's C or D, but I'm gonna just play it safe here. We're gonna phone a friend. I really, I, that's just kind of a guess, though. I think it's C. D would, would be my second guess. Um, let's see what the phone a friend has to say. Plan? Okay. Well, I'm kind of glad I did that then because I actually was gonna go with project. All right, perfect. Thank you, phone friend. That was that was definitely a good use of a of a lifeline because I could have used a 50-50, would have left C or D, and then I would have just gone with C. Well, actually, no, it couldn't have left C or D because the correct answer was A. What am I talking about? Okay, guys, here we go. We are now seven questions away from the million. We're going for sixteen thousand. Still got the two lifelines. Let's see if I can hit that thirty-two thousand dollar level. Oh, for Pete's sake! How many Best Actor Oscars did Marlon Brando win? Three, one, two, or none. I have no clue. I think I've had this before. Is it two? 
Oh snap. Let me 50-50 it. Okay, let's go with two. Watch it be wrong. Oh, it's right. Okay. Woo! That was definitely a risk. That's good, because I saved the best lifeline. Well, arguably, in my opinion. I mean, 50-50 could be the best. But, anyway. Guys, we're six away now from the million. Got one lifeline. We are going for $32,000. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Which of these actors had featured... Oh, man. Oh, featured role in the 1976 Australian film Caddy. Oh, man. I really want to get this one right. I think... I think it's Jack Thompson. I really do. But, guys, I really don't feel like going crazy. So, we're going to... We're just gonna do this just to be safe. I really think it is Jack Thompson. That's a 10% margin. I'm gonna go with that one. That's what I thought it was. I just wanna get this one right. I wanna get the, at least the third 32,000. Yeah, see, I could have just gone with that and not used the audience, but I just wanted to be sure. That does sting a little bit, but you know what? Now I got the $32,000 guaranteed. I can take a free shot at 64. Who cares? That's fine. Okay, got thirty-two thousand dollars, guys. Five away now. Let's go for sixty-four thousand. Here we go. Okay, which year did? Um, which year did Yuri Gagarin become the first man to travel into space? I have no idea. I think that. Oh, it's probably sixty-two. Oh no, it is sixty-one. My gosh. <sighs> mm, okay, now I really wish I had the audience. Although, you know what? If I did not use the audience on the $32,000 question, I probably would have used it on that last question. So, yeah, we're fine. We're going for 125 now. Definitely a good start, a good start to, to the week, though. Um, What is the modified leave that encloses the... I'm not I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna go with Sapel. I think this is the right answer. It might be Stammen. Yes! I just wanted to go with that before I changed my mind, because that was the first one that clicked in my head. Guys, this is actually turned out to be really good. I'm three away now from the million, got 125. This has actually turned out to be fantastic. That's what I tried to do on Thursday. It didn't work. I won thirty-two thousand. I got one twenty-five now. We're going for a quarter of a million. This is actually great. Let's take a look at this question. Popular piece by Soviet composer Aram Kachu Kachaturian is the what dance? Saber dance? Rapier? Rapier? Stiletto? Machete? Is that what that's? Is that what I have no clue. I have legitimately no idea. Mm, so it's a $93,000 risk. I would say it's worth it, personally. I'm gonna walk away, guys. I don't, I don't know the answer, so I feel like that is a good decision. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good start to the week. Um, so if you guys don't mind, just give me a second. I'm going to add that to my overall total. Um, actually, I could probably do that without even going to the calculator. Um, possibly. Um, that was really good, though. $125,000. I'm actually really, really happy with that. I did not think it was going to... I Like, I didn't think I was going to do that well, but that's... That that was pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, we add the $125,000 to the $7,139,360 that I had at the beginning of today's episode, and that now brings my overall total to $7,264,360. 
So guys, that is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Adios.